The food crisis is leading to lack of food and high prices in communities throughout the developing world. Hi, welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Ashley. And today I got the chance to sit down with Emmanuel Ish about World Vision's role for humanitarian aid in the world food crisis. What is the mission of World Vision's food crisis and humanitarian aid? Our prime concern is to really to make sure that we're able to meet the needs of the children, both on the short term and the long term. When a household earns a couple, three dollars a day, uh, they're less and less able to, to feed themselves and, and their children. So that's, for us, the premise of this crisis. How does World Vision supply those in need? We have food aid programs in about 30 countries. Uh, beyond those countries, we have our cultural programs and other programs that can also respond to this crisis. Tell us about World Vision's short-term and long-term goals. In the short term, we need to make sure people have food to eat. So we're going to you know, increase where we can uh, food distributions or access to food. We'll, in some cases, give food vouchers to people, in some cases, even cash. But that doesn't solve the problem. In the longer term, it's about making sure that these communities can sustain themselves. That's why we need to invest more in their agricultural production capacity, in uh, uh, microfinance, in uh, microcredit. Do you monitor the progress of children that you supply food to? Our local teams are there on the ground and over a number of years are able to see the progress and the development again not just with the children but with the community and all the changes that are happening as a result. Can you tell us a little bit about what just happened in Zimbabwe and how that country has dealt with World Vision and other NGOs? We're referring to the, the uh, government asking all the NGOs to shut down their operations. Over two million Zimbabweans uh, have depended on World Vision food assistance so now we've had to cease all these activities so it's impacting a lot of people at, uh, at the worst of times really so we're calling on the government Zimbabwe to really um, change their minds so to speak and to allow World Vision and others to resume uh, um, the crucial assistance that uh, the people depend on. What is the relationship between the current food crisis, poverty and access? It's all interconnected. Um, globally, we're still producing enough food to feed one half times the world's population. At the end of the day, really, if we tackle the issue of access, then we'll be able to tackle the issue of the food crisis. Then, you know, so it's about being more aware of that. And certainly the food crisis and the energy crisis affects us here, but affects more um, seriously a lot more people around the world. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.